Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's show is called Sell All of Your Cancerous Assets Now. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be uh, notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. We've been noticing that a lot of ultra wealthy people we know are accelerating the rate at which they are selling off all of their cancerous assets. What are cancerous assets? Those are assets or things which are dropping in value, not generating positive cash flow, or they're expected to get uh, even lower in price in the near future. A cancerous asset can be anything. It can be real estate, it can be a business, it can be a car or a watch collection, it can be a plane or a boat, it can be a collection of crazy expensive purses or jewelry, it can be a division within one of your companies that is run by employees who are incompetent, it can be an extra car you rarely drive, it can be your stocks or your bonds. It can be almost anything. The point is that it's losing value or it's failing to make you money. If that's the case, then the ultra wealthy are getting rid of it. Would selling your cancerous assets benefit you if you uh, somehow could do it effectively? Well, the first thing to do is to make a list of all those assets, properties and belongings that you have that you could possibly sell. Next go through them one by one and determine which ones are increasing in value or making you money and which ones are decreasing in value and costing you money. Then make a list of assets or properties that are losing money and decide how to get the best price for them possible while you still can. That could mean selling them on eBay or selling them at an auction. It could mean selling them on Craigslist or using a talented real estate agent. Now, let's start with vehicles. If you want top dollar for your car, then you should sell it yourself. But you have to be really smart and be patient about it. This process can take a few months, but doing so will help you get top dollar if you're patient and you research the process to make sure that you do not get ripped off. Go to Google and type in best ways to sell your car by yourself and there will be many informative articles about the process. One of the keys for getting the best price for the sale of your property and assets is patience. Normally, that means waiting a little longer, but now things are a little bit different. Prices on many assets and properties and belongings are declining, so sometimes waiting a little bit longer may not be the best option. You're going to have to do your own research and decide on the best strategy possible. Also, some markets are different than others. The real estate market in Tennessee may be different than the, the market in Florida. So you should consult with an excellent real estate agent to help you make those decisions. What about boats and planes? Well, we don't give financial advice, but we can tell you that the ultra wealthy uh, have been selling those things off for a while now. Uh, you know, even a lot of the planes that they held for tax advantages, they're starting to unload those as well. But if you're not extremely wealthy, then you may have to ask yourself, is your plane a financial benefit to you or not? And if not, then you may wish to sell it. The same thing goes with boats, second homes, and other assets. The next question is, how about stocks? People want to know if they should keep or sell their stocks. Once again, we don't give stock advice, but here's what I can tell you about what the ultra wealthy are doing all around the world. Most of them have already gotten rid of their stocks and cashed out because they fear that the stock market crash of all crashes is right on the horizon. And if that happens, then they will watch the stock prices drop dramatically and in due time, they'll step in and they'll repurchase them at a much lower price. The next question people are asking is, what about Airbnb properties? Well, the same applies there. If they're going up in value or they're generating positive cash flow, then you should look at them favorably. But if they're not, then that should help you make your decision. Generally speaking, Airbnb properties are making less these days than they were a year or two ago. Remember, if an asset is not benefiting you now or will not benefit you in the foreseeable future, then that should help you make your decision. 
make sure you do a lot of research before you make those decisions because once the market collapses then your options may start disappearing completely thank you for watching i want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free you can also like comment and follow us we're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode also we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out thank you and we shall see you soon bye bye